one last item I'd like to show you here, uh, and this is kind of uh, really a cool option that uh, any of you can use, uh, you know, to create a master template, for instance. Now, we all know that in SOLIDWORKS, if you want to create a drawing, okay, in this case, see, I'm referencing a drawing right here. I can come in here to the advanced button and I reference whatever master drawing template I have, okay? So when I hit OK, I'm referencing these templates that's, and, and this is what's on my computer. I mean, I, everybody has different templates, obviously. If you work for a company, you're, the company has probably different templates with logos and everything. Now, wouldn't it be nice to have one master template where every time you create a file or a part, you know, you can drag your part, literally drag and drop your part into that template and lo and behold, it'll create automatically all three or four views that you want with the colors, uh, you know, the view orientations and all that stuff that you want automatically without you having to interfere with it. Now, what that requires, obviously, is creating a master template, okay? Now, let's say we... I don't know, we want to create a master template for this uh, B size here, all right? Now, here's my master template that I'm copying from. If I want to always create three projected views and an auxiliary, uh, or actually uh, uh, an isometric view, without creating them manually or dragging them and dropping them from the view palette here, as I did before, what you can do is you can create something called a predefined view. There's the button for it. We have a button called Predefined View, which allows you to come in here and create literally an empty view. See this? I am placing a totally empty view in my template, and this view can be defined as anything as you want. In this case, by default, it's the front. I can change it to anything you want here on the side. As you can see, top, right, front, ISO, whatever. Okay? Come down further and I can designate what type of display style I want this view to always show. In this case, I'm going to say, you know what, I want the front to always show the hidden lines visible. Okay, so this is going to always carry the information with the visible hidden, uh, uh, the hidden lines being visible. Scale, again, what type of scale do I want? I mean, when I drop a part in here, what scale do I want to see? Here's the scale. And off I go. Hit OK. Notice I have just created an empty predefined view. From this view, I'm going to go ahead and project, and I'm using the shortcut here in this toolbar, which is this button that you saw earlier here, project view, okay, up. That will be the top from this particular view, okay. Here's the right, and here's an isometric view as well, okay. So notice how I'm, I'm creating all these different views, and they're all empty because, like I said, this is a master template that will save me some extra time when I create these drawing views. Now, I want my isometric to always show colors. So notice I referenced it. I added the color. Uh, change the scale if you want. Do whatever you want. Okay? And come out of there. And then, again, these two views always will show uh, hidden lines visible, hidden lines visible as well. Okay? There are now four predefined views coming from this uh, predefined button here, allowing me to save them in the master template.